Okay, so we're back again. Um, you can see what I've done now is I've started to fiberglass the inside of it, and also just to make it a bit more rigid um, and easier to go. And I thought I'd actually make these pieces Velcro in, and where you can see that side joins up rather nicely. I'm having trouble reconnecting it back um, to this side. However, that said, um, as you can see on the pieces, um, I have fiberglass inside of these and these are absolutely solid now um, so I've cut the two parts out and when I say solid I've got the resin on and the shock stuff and I've also got the fiberglass yeah they're absolutely solid yeah. let me just uh, grab one of the other halves so we, even though we have got the stuff yeah it is absolutely solid, so it's certainly going to last um, as armour goes. I don't think there'll be too much of an issue um, with that. Just put my tools back. Okay, so where am I at the moment? Well, on this side, you can see I've started to find the inside um, of there. I've still got the outside to do, and this is quite rigid now. Um, as I've just said, it will take quite a quite a knock, especially the edges um, where they're a bit brittle. I've still got to do the inside of this bit, although that the back is quite solid, I am just going to fiberglass some of the areas um, and certainly around the edges. I'm running out of hands here, but around these edges here, I don't know if you can see, around those edges there, certainly around the base where they join. And that's pretty much it, really. Um, I've started to coat. Again, this side, um, I haven't coated at all. You can see there's a little bit of difference colour there, um, but it is quite rigid as it is, and that's that's very good. I'll give me something to sand down on and to work on, and I'll just have to work out how I'm going to fit these back back in. So that's the stage that we're at at the moment. Um, as with the fiberglass, you can probably see um, all I did was I just trimmed it on the bandsaw and then just use some scissors just to trim some of the edges and then finally just uh, scrape the side with a standing knife or a press knife ok so that's the stage we're at, the next stage I'll show you is where it's all been fiberglassed and we've started to put some of the uh, the isopan or the body filler car body filler onto it Okay, so we're all with the armour then. Um, well, as you can see, I've now fiberglassed the inside of the areas and all around the edges, and I've started um, just to sand the edges just to make it smoother, etc. Um, I have had to correct some of them. Um, this top bit, for example, the reason I had to correct this bit is although I do like mine being battle damaged, so I've actually left some that are buckled. Unfortunately, and that was the actual shape you can see <coughs> on there, and it was bowing out a bit. So, literally, um, the best thing with fiberglass and this sort of stuff is you can actually just cut it out and replace it. So, I just built it back up with card. And um, this time, I've had to fiberglass on the outside, and that's what I've used the fiberglass tissue for, and then reinforce it on the inside. You can see around some of the edges here, I've got to apply some filler. Um, just to go around, um, same with the edges here, and there are some areas a bit at the front that I filled in that just needs a bit of um, ice pan filler in there, body filler in there, um, just to make it smooth, um, etc. So, still a fair bit of work to do on this. The other thing I've done is I've actually put, as you can see in here, is it a hinge, and I've decided to put the hinge in um, visible. I, I could have just um, basically just stuck it on it and, and fiberglassed it over it and, and secured it with resin but I think the bolts actually add to the features that it is actually armour and it's a way of getting the armour on to be honest so you can see how it goes in there and it's a bit loose at the bottom there to go through but I have actually just fiberglassed that corner in just to allow me to keep it you can see where I'm going to cut through it there as well but just to allow me to sort out the internal bits and make sure they match up. There's a bit of a dip there, um, as you can see, a bit of a dip 
in this area here which I'm going to apply the filler in so I've kept it fiberglass at the top just to make sure you know, I can smooth this area out and shape it so it all blends in naturally. I'm not sure how I'm going to join it yet with this velcro by using the strap. So the other thing I've built in is this patch and um, this wasn't on the original design um, but I've filled this in mainly because the area looks a bit weak to be honest around here and it didn't look um, that good and you can probably see where the line is that it went through so all this is a new addition again a fiberglass on the outside here using the tissue um, and then fiberglass back on the inside you can see a bit more in detail um, on this bottom bit um, so all I did was I built this bit back up using paper, the bit that I wanted, and um, fiberglass this bit in as well, which is going to take a bit of a resin in, but that should be okay. Um, it's quite weak at the moment, so I've still got a fiberglass in it. And then rebuild this area up with fiberglass just to give it a bit more strength. It's still a bit weak um, at the moment there. And then that should be as solid as the other bits. And I've just got to get rid of some of these and line it and start work on the back. What else have I got to do? Um, on this part you can see I've actually started to, to trim so you can see how this bit will fit in, this bit will, will work on a, a, an inch like the other side so it'll actually open out so we can get the uniform on and then it should drop back down and it's almost um, been cut down and sanded so it almost fits. You can see I've still got a bit of work to do on it, which is to sand it down and also it fits into that area and you can see the bits I've got to cut off onto that bit as well and then that will be the next stage but once that thing the body's actually done as well and so it has took some cutting and some fiberglass in but that's that's the idea of it as well moving swiftly on then, um, on the back you can see what I've started to do is mark out all the details that go on the back um, so we've got little sketches I've put in there just to give me some idea what's going to go on I'm just going to cut through those using the router zip um, which is a tool, a bit like a Dremel tool or an engraver tool where I can drill a hole and just cut that section out and then behind it put in the um, the details to make it look a bit more authentic I'm also going to put some rivets and some screws in the top so it matches this bit down here, so it does look like it's metallic armour and proper armour. Um, I'm not too sure about the nuts yet, but we'll see how they go. We'll see how they go. Um, and that's pretty much it, really. And that's the armour at the moment. Um, so like I say, the next stage is to cut out the recesses and to actually start putting some of the detail onto this. Once the, the recesses are cut out, what I can do then is start spraying it up. Um, sanding it down and body filler in it just to make sure as it's ready to go um, all this is quite quite strong now so that, that's pretty much where we're at with the armour um, so there we go zoom out oh the other thing I had to do as well just as a quick one is at the bottom and um, I've cut off these edges just to make it uh, fit a bit better against the body and sanding them down and that is pretty much it, ready to go and it's ready to be sprayed up and done once we've done that so again probably got about another 15 or so hours worth of work on here just sanding it down um, and filling it but this is a key essential part of the outfit and it's important that it's actually made um, correctly so the next stage uh, I'll show you is when it's all ready um, to sand down and then when we're ready to actually uh, start spraying it and priming it.